what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel this is the review for black ink crew chicago this is season five um episode 14 from shy ammy to sky ammy before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet please go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the notification button so you'll uh, know whenever i upload any new content and then um also let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down okay so before we get into the review, quick um, want a reminder, let everybody know that my birthday is on Thursday. It's in two days, June 27th. So if you feel so inclined and you would like to just bless me with the gift, my cash app is Mo Ham Steve. That's M-O-H-A-M-S-T-E-V-E, -E, Mo Ham Steve. Um, <laughs> bless me for my birthday. I'm going to be 39. Yes, I look good, don't I? <laughs> this black and cracked chat, baby. Damn. Okay, so anyways, to get into the review. Okay, so it starts off, Ryan and Rachel, they up in there in their little um, patio or their little place or whatever at the, over at the house. They talking about the night before with the dinner. You know when Ryan was in his feelings when he snapped at everybody because Charmaine started up with this crime bullshit that she be doing. Well, he was, um, well, first of all, he already apologized to everybody. They said that they had made up later on that night. And so Ryan was just basically saying like, look, you know, I had to get what I had to get off of my chest. It's like if you're drunk and you throw up and then you feel better, that's what he does. He was drunk, he spewed some shit out, he feels better everything is all to the fucking good right but Charmaine is still in her damn feelings so Charmaine is over there whining pout and do whatever the fuck she do Lily ends up coming out there and her and Lily end up bonding because Lily first of all tells her that she ended up having to leave up out there because she didn't want to snap on Ryan's ass because Ryan was being an asshole his asshole he was on like asshole level eight maybe level nine that night of that dinner that was the night before but um she said she had to walk out and leave because she didn't want to snap on him she's trying to turn over a whole new leaf or whatever and so you know her and Charmaine they bonded from that Charmaine feels like the shop ain't the same it's uh, turn into a boys club lily don't like the new rules at the new nine mag how everything is strict you got to sign a contract this and the other and lily even said bitches y'all y'all gonna clock me y'all already gonna know i'm not gonna stick to no goddamn rules if i want to stick some rules i would have joined the motherfucking military when i was 18 but i didn't do this shit because i can't do no goddamn rules so she tells charmaine that she wants to go back and work at the old nine mag instead of the new nine mag she's grateful to ryan for giving her the opportunity but she doesn't feel like that'll be a good suit for her she feels like she'll be better at the old nine mag with all the other bullshit that's going on over there girl you don't need to be out you don't need first of all lily don't need to be back in nobody goddamn shop because lily likes to fight lily ain't good for business she bad for property value she she's bad for the environment she just ain't good she ain't somebody that you want to have up in your damn shop and even charmaine kind of like oh shit you you want to come up in the old nine bag i thought ryan hired you over there at the new nine mag what you want to come over here at the old one for i thought she was already secure over there like you came in here throwing it all up in her face and she was going to be over there. that's what trying to come over here for but she like that's neither here nor there i don't know how that's gonna work we gonna see how that go but um yeah i wouldn't hire her i i i i, I yeah no i don't think i don't think that's gonna work these niggas is out there at the golf cart i mean at the golf course all on golf carts. They, it's a nice, sophisticated golf course out there, right? It's quiet. White folks is hitting their balls. The birds is chirping. The grass is green. And then here these niggas come on golf carts doing donuts and shit all through these, messing up these people's goddamn grass and property value and landscaping and shit. Damn. So then the boys, they go off and they play golf or hood nigga golf, whatever they do. They just hit the straight mulligans. And then the girls get together. They do their putt-putt. It's all cute. It's all to the good. Everybody's getting along for the time being. But again, this is motherfucking nine max. So we know this shit is... So it's the night of uh, four showcase, right? Four has not performed in four months since he had his little mental breakdown that he was saying. And he said that um, he's really nervous about it. He's excited that everybody's come out. And what better way for him to get back out and showcase his talent than to be in Miami. The people that are that he knows, connects or whatever that he got up there in Miami, they hooked him up with this gig in this little club or whatever. It's supposed to be this little exclusive thing, right? Shit is going good. Everybody vibing. Everybody doing their thing. And then in walks Scott loud as hell if you didn't know she was there you heard her goddamn mouth sky walked in loud as fuck she was loud and she says she's there to support for she gives him a hug this and the other ride kind of looking at the side he like oh shit now last time all of us was together 
yo ass was trying to fight somebody. Matter of fact, every time we get together, some shit pop off with you. So Ron is kind of like, mm, I, don't, I don't know about this bitch. Charmaine and everybody else end up showing up. Charmaine ends up um, calling her boyfriend, Neek, to come down because, you know, she just wanted to get it in with Neek real quick. So um, I didn't know that Neek and, um, what's the girl name? Lily, they end up getting into it on the internet over Lily saying nigga. So, Lily is already in the back of her head, ready to be petty and start some shit off just because she's seen me. Now, you just made this truce with this goddamn girl, but you already got some unplanned petty shit in the back of your goddamn head. See, that's why I don't trust Lily. That's why I say Lily, Lily bad for property value. She gonna bring all of y'all shit goddamn down, right? So, everything is going good. Oh, they start clowning on Don for not having no damn socks. That shit was funny as hell. It looked funny when he didn't have no socks neither. I didn't, I didn't understand why he did that. He could have, uh, yeah, uh, brought, either brought the pants down or maybe had on some ankle boots. Because that just, his, his the shit he was rocking wasn't looking right. But anyway, so shit is going good. Everybody's vibing. Everybody's doing that thing. Next thing you know, Sky and Jet, the other tattoo artists, they start getting into it for no reason. It was Sky's goddamn fault because y'all already know how Sky is, man. She started drinking and she started getting ignorant. Then the bitch throws a drink at Jet out of nowhere. Throws a goddamn drink. For what, Sky? For what? Security calm. They end up carrying her ass out. Ryan goes out there to calm her ass down. He's like, well, what is, what is you doing? Everybody out here chilling. Like, like, what the fuck is the problem? And then, like, a fucking light switch. She's like, oh, I thought he, I thought he disrespected. I thought he said something to me. Oops, my bad. Hey, y'all, party over here. Shit was good after that. That's that bipolar shit. Like, I'm bipolar. You couldn't, you wouldn't tell him that she pissed me off. But that's like blatant, untreated, un, unmedicated bipolar. That girl got something wrong with her. I loves me some sky. But, oh, Lord, she scares the hell out of me. You never know what you're going to get with that one right there. So, Lily's sitting over there on the couch, right? And um, she's talking with, I think his name is Lowe's. He's one of the tattoo artists. Tattoo Baby is there at the um, at the little exclusive listening party, whatever that four was having. So Tattoo Baby is there, and Tattoo Baby is sitting up there, and she's talking with Lowe's in Spanish about the issues that she has with Charmaine's and her, with Charmaine and her boyfriend, right? And so um, she ends up like Neek and Charmaine are minding their own damn business. They sitting over there minding their business, not getting into it with no goddamn body. Then, of course, Classic Lily says, you know what? I just can't let it go. I'm thinking about all this shit this motherfucker said about me on the internet. And I just got that petty bone and I just want to be petty. Nika and Charmaine minding their own damn business. Next thing you know, this bitch Lily gets up, goes over there to Charmaine and Neek while they minding their own damn business. And it's like, hey, look, whatever, I just want to make sure me and you good because whatever issue you got between me and you, that's between me and you. And I feel like a man needs to stay in a man place. Bitch, what you even go there for? They was over there minding their own damn business. So, of course, Neek is like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, hold on, bro. You not finna talk. You, 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 you got something to say, you say it to me. So Lily just starts going off on Neek. Then she starts calling him a bitch. Now me, that would have been a wrap for me personally. Like there's no other conversation that needs to have. At this point, you disrespected my man. So now me and you back got a problem with each other. So if you're going to address somebody, we're going to be woman to woman and you're going to address with me. But you ain't going to address my man like that because he can't haul off and knock your ass out. Now, I can be on some ratchet petty level shit with you, but he can't because he's a man because he's not going to do that. But oh, bitch, if you want some, come and get some because I'll give it to you. That just would have been me though. I'm just saying. So at that point, Lily just gets all up in Neek's face like she getting ready to fight him like security and everybody had to come in because Neek was like, bitch, I'm bad about it too. Like he was getting back up in her face. I really thought some she was finna go down if nothing else i thought her and charmaine was finna have at it but then of course linda was like you know whatever thing that was squashed between me and charmaine it's over now now me and her back got a problem which it didn't have to be that way because that was lily's goddamn ass lily was the one that started that goddamn shit but child like i said that that, that couldn't have been me because that wouldn't have been good with me at all so charmaine and neek end up leaving the party and then lily goes over to van it's like so i don't know if this is a good time or not to ask you can i join the old nine mag because the new nine mag ain't gonna work for me and guess what this motherfucker agrees to it he even toasts and cheers to to new beginnings after this bitch was just getting ready to fight charmaine and her man 
you going to welcome her back into the old shop. Like, I don't know if this shit is in the contract. At this point, I, I know all of this is for TV time because had this been a real business, that bitch would have been a long time ago out the goddamn door. So we know this shit ain't for real. We're going to see about this. Child, so then Lily and her little lime green aqua jumpsuit she got on, she ended up going down at a tattoo baby shop. She ended up getting a tattoo of the Mexican yin-yang symbol on her wrist. It's supposed to be balanced. Lowe's, the guy she was feeling, whatever. She, I bet she fucked him that night, too, because she looked like she did. She liked she was, she liked she was on that shit. But, um... She does, he tells her that you need some balance because you a loose cannon. And um, she was saying that she wanted something, you know, according to her heritage, Aztec and, you know, the, the Mexican heritage. That's what she wanted to, something to pay homage to that. So he does the Mexican yin yang symbol on her wrist. It turns out fire. I liked it. I thought it was dope as hell. But hopefully that bring that bitch some balance because she needs some, she needs some balance in her goddamn life for real, real, real. So then... After that, Four, Don, Van, and Ryan, they all talking about how Lily approached Van wanting to come back and work at the old Nine Mag. And Van, I mean, no, not, Ryan is like, okay, now I gave her the opportunity to, to grow and to be better and come and work at the new Nine Mag. But if that's more her vibe, hey, I ain't even mad at you. I feel it. You know, deuces, bitch. We don't need you around. I'll probably with all that rat shit anyway. So... Charmaine and Neek end up showing um, back up at the house that next morning. After Lily got into it with Charmaine and Neek, they didn't end up coming back to the house that night. They just got their shit. They went and checked into a hotel, right? So the next morning, she shows back up over there at the house. She wants to talk to everybody. She feels like everything has, nothing, uh, everything has not changed. Nothing is going to change. Everything is still going to stay the way that it is. She feels like she wants to expand. She wants to build her brand. And she wants to be a bigger, better person. And she can't do it at 9 Mag. So basically, she is making the decision to leave 9 Mag. Of course, as she's saying this, Lily walks in. Lily like, what's up? What's up? Y'all talk about me. What's up? What's good? So... Van basically like Van is like look you know I'm I want us to all be on some team building shit you know yada 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 long story short Lily is family Lily is staying Lily ain't going nowhere so we just gonna have to work this out so I don't know what all y'all want so of course I don't blame Charmaine I'll be pissed off too like wait a minute this bitch is the one from the jump that has been in the common denominator of every single fight that has happened in nine mag she has been the common denominator in it every single goddamn time. But they steady welcoming Lily with open arms. And then when it came to Charmaine, they just basically like Charmaine, okay, get over it. Which I get, Charmaine is dramatic as hell too. So it's like everything she say, you just kind of be like, okay, okay, Charmaine, just stop. Just stop. But at the same time, I feel her. Like, Lily's on some bullshit. And it does seem like they a lot of times they're taking Lily's side. But it is what it is with that. That was the end of the episode right there. It was okay. Was it watchworthy? Eh, you'll enjoy this review because this review basically hit on all the main points of it. Um, again, I just want to remind everybody that my birthday is June 27th. I will be 39 years old. If you feel so inclined to contribute some coins to the household or to the birthday girl, my cash app is Moham Steve. Again, that is M-O-H-A-M-S-T-E-B-E. -E. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think, and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.